going on, Bears fans? Bear down as always. I am your host, Harrison Graham. Matt Nagy is out, so someone's got to come in to replace him as the Bears head coach. We got 15 candidates to break down for you guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. But first, let's kind of just, you know, recap, kind of talk to what got to this point for Chicago. They fired Nagy on Monday, along with Ryan Pace, by the way, as uh, Matt Nagy, just 6-11 and 11 this year. That was not going to get it done. George McCaskey talked about in his press conference that they wanted to give Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, the opportunity to come back in 2021, try to improve upon an 8-8 eight and eight season. Did not happen. And now, here we are again. Bears searching for a new head coach, new GM as well. We'll have a separate video of my Ryan Pace replacement, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but uh, coming up is 15 Matt Nagy replacements, and all of that is a reason to subscribe for this video, for Ryan Pace re uh, replacements. As soon as the Bears hire a head coach, we're going live. That much I can assure you, so smash that red subscribe button. We will have you guys covered throughout uh, the off season and on into the 2022 season when hopefully we are feeling a whole lot better about this coach and GM combination. Hit that sub button and let's go ahead and jump on into some candidates. At number 15, uh, Ryan Day, the head coach at Ohio State. Listen, I just don't think that it's that likely. I don't think Ryan Day is leaving Ohio State. They hired Jim Knowles as his defensive coordinator there a couple of weeks ago. They just hired an offensive line coach here on Tuesday morning. Like, I, I just don't think he's leaving. The tea leaves tell me that he's staying in Columbus, uh, at least for now. He's going back to Ohio State. Could that change? Could the Bears try to interview him and try to persuade him? Sure, he's on my list, number 15, uh, so I'll leave him there. And by the way, this list is kind of a combination of what we're hearing, what's likely, guys I like, so stay tuned and keep that all in mind. At number 14, Josh McDaniels, the offensive coordinator of New England. Up to this point, not much chatter between him and the Bears, uh, so I've got him a little bit lower. Uh, personally, I would probably have him in my top 10, uh, but I'll slide him here at 14. Hopefully the Bears at least interview him. I think he could do really well with Justin Fields. Who is your dream head coach for the Chicago Bears? We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So if you get hit with the YouTube bad break, scroll on down, answer this question, come back up. 13 more candidates to go on today's video. At number 13, Jim Caldwell, the former Lions head coach. I think there's some buzz around him getting some interviews around the NFL for some of these openings. He certainly would be kind of a state stability type of hire, maybe a lower ceiling type of hire, uh, which is why I would swing bigger. But I'll put him in there at number 13. Todd Bowles, the offensive coordinator or defensive coordinator, excuse me, for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at number 12, championship organization last year, obviously. I think Bowles will get a second chance to be a head coach. I think he deserves a second chance. I don't know if I want to go defense with this hire, but I do have several defensive candidates on this list. He didn't do great with the Jets, but I think he does get another opportunity. Just not sure it's here in Chicago. How about Nathaniel Hackett, the offensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers? Now it is Matt LaFleur's offense, uh, but I think Hackett's done a good job there with that group as well. And hey, if you want to infiltrate Green Bay, Nathaniel Hackett's probably the guy, right? I don't think there's any other coaches on that staff that makes sense as a potential head coaching candidate. The Bears have already requested an interview for Hackett along with uh, Bowles as well uh, for that matter. So uh, keep that in mind. But it'll be interesting if you want to infiltrate the Packers, getting Nathaniel Hackett probably the best chance to do it. Type FGB in the chat. No one likes the Packers except for Packers fans. FGB. Hopefully Aaron Rodgers gets traded and hopefully they lose once again in the NFC title game. By the way, you want to go bet on some playoff games, bet against the Packers, you can do it at BetUS. Go to chatsports.com slash bears. Use our promo code BEARDOWN. It's all one word, bear down when you go to chatsports.com slash bears. NFC Wild Card Weekend. Here are the three matchups and the betting lines. Bucks minus nine and a half against Philadelphia. I actually like the Eagles to cover in that one. I think the Bucks will win. Cowboys minus three at home against San Francisco. That's an interesting one. That tells me Vegas thinks it's a pick em game. It could go either way. Usually the home team gets three points. They're favored by three. I like Dallas in a pick em type of game. And then Rams minus four against Arizona. I like the Rams in this one. Cardinals have been trending in the wrong direction. Go bet on some matchups. And if you're a new BetUS customer, we're bringing back our NFL jersey giveaway leading up to wildcard weekend. So you got to take advantage of this now before these games kick off. 
all those steps, chatsports.com slash bears. Got to go to that link, plug in the promo code, deposit a minimum of $100. You'll get that deposit bonus. Then all you got to do is place a bet on any game for any amount. Email us, jersey at chatsports.com. This is the only jersey we've got available for you guys, but we have a ton of them, the Justin Fields Navy jersey. So follow those steps, go bet on some games, and get a brand new jersey. All right, top 10 Matt Nagy replacements. Leslie Frazier, the head coach of the Buffalo – or sorry, the defensive coordinator of the Buffalo Bills. Obviously, Sean McDermott's the head coach. Former Vikings head coach is what I meant to say. Um, you guys have kind of heard me talk before. I think Leslie Frazier is a lukewarm idea. He's in his mid-60s almost. Uh, not to be ageist, of course, but uh, he's failed as a head coach already, and he's a defensive guy. If I'm going a defensive guy, I want a guy who either is proven as a head coach or uh, that I am confident can bring in the right OC. I have no idea who Leslie Frazier would bring in as his OC. I have no idea who Todd Bowles would bring in as his OC. Uh, frankly, I don't know who any of these defensive guys would bring in as his OC. I have a defensive guy higher on my list because he's had success as a head coach. We'll get to him later, but... You know, if you don't hire an offensive coach, you got to get the right coordinator uh, to run Justin Fields' offense, whatever type of offense that is. All right, what type of coach should the Bears hire? Type O for offense, type D for defense? Let us know in the comments. Okay, number nine here as we keep it moving. Kellen Moore, no planned interview as of yet. That's why I've got him down at number nine. I've had him pretty consistently in my top five or six for a while, but up to this point, no interview has been scheduled. If that changes, obviously I would move him higher. At number eight, Matt Eberflus, the Colts defensive coordinator, interview requested. That was also true for Leslie Frazier, by the way. A lot of momentum, I won't say momentum, but ideas out there that you could just – Go Colts, Colts for GM head coach, right? Uh, Morocco Brown, Ed Dodds being interviewed by the Bears for GM. Uh, Matt Eberflus, the defensive coordinator, who is absolutely fantastic uh, running his defense. You could bring him along with one of those GM candidates, and you could uh, uh, try and, uh, you know, be the Colts, who have had been very successful in loading up on talent in recent years. Byron Leftwich, the Bucks offensive coordinator, another interview requested here by Chicago as that list continues to grow. Uh, Leftwich is uh, – part of a championship organization uh, he's you know part of a good offensive staff Tom Brady certainly helps but still he is a growing uh, candidate in this year's cycle Sean Payton at number six you know for me he's 1a 1b with another candidate that we'll get to but you know up to this point uh, there's not a lot of momentum toward that I'm still going to put him in there at six because uh, uh, I would explore it heavily I would see if it's realistic with them losing or with them missing the playoffs you got to at least think there's a tiny chance that this could happen. Now, there's a lot of rumors out there. Sean Payton doesn't want to leave New Orleans. There's rumors that he's going to coach a couple more years and then go work on TV. I don't know what to believe. Um, I just think that you can't tell me there wouldn't be a tiny interest from him, considering he grew up in Chicago and briefly played for the Bears. I would explore it. If you get a quick A, it's not going to happen. Well, you did your due diligence, right? I've got him at number six. We'll see if something uh, – uh, kind of transforms on that front. Uh, subscribe to our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. The link is below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. You might actually be watching this video on Chat Sports. Uh, more head coach and GM replacements videos uh, on that channel. Uh, so go subscribe. Hit the big red button if you're watching on Chat Sports. And hey, if you like the Bears and you're watching on Chat Sports, remember, go subscribe to Bears now as well. Top five, here we go. Dan Quinn, I mentioned I have a defensive uh, candidate pretty high in there. And the main reason is, is Dan Quinn has been a successful head coach. He went to a Super Bowl with the Atlanta Falcons that should have won one had they not melted down against the New England Patriots. And a lot of the momentum, he's inter getting a lot of interview requests. I think there's a pretty good chance he gets a head coaching job. He's a pretty safe hire. We know his defense is going to be good. I mean, the Cowboys haven't had a good defense in years. He takes over the D.C. gig, and he's got – easily a top 10 defense this year, and that's that's really impressive. I could get a head coaching job. Maybe it's Chicago. Maybe it's not. Uh, I think Denver's a team to watch out for him, but uh, uh, they've also requested an interview for Dan Quinn. At number four, Brian Dable, the Bills offensive coordinator. Interv uh, interview has been requested. He's worked really well with Josh Allen. I've told you guys before, I don't love the fact that he doesn't run the football a lot, but he does run the football with his quarterback, which I think you can do with Justin Fields. And I'm just going to uh, – hope slash assume that he doesn't run the ball with his backs in Buffalo because their backs just aren't that good. David Montgomery, Khalil Herbert, and hopefully Tariq Goen, those are three good players to use at running back in Chicago. Okay, Brian Flores, hot name right now. 
due to the fact that people were stunned when Miami decided to part ways with him. Uh, it, just a bizarre situation now. You know, reports him and the GM didn't get along. Remember all that chatter? Uh, the GM wants Deshaun, uh, to trade for Deshaun Watson, so does ownership. Brian Flores is like, ah, Tua's our guy. And then, you know, the back and forth with Tua. Jacoby Brissett plays a little bit. It is a little bizarre, and obviously you'd be working with a young quarterback. So you've got to be on the same page with all that. But the work he did with Miami, pretty damn impressive overall. So he's fairly high on my list. The buzz is there. I don't know if I'd have him in my top three personally, but I think – with my interest slash what's out there, he's probably a top five guy right now. Uh, I'll pencil him in at number three. Would you be happy with Brian Flores? Type Y for yes, type in for no. I think I would be. Um, are there a couple of guys I like better? Probably. Uh, but uh, like Sean Payton, I know I have him lower, but I just think it's less likely. I would take him over Brian Flores. But I'd be happy with Flores. Uh, curious to see what you guys think because it seems a little split among Bears fans. Number two, Doug Peterson. Uh, the first interview that was scheduled, Flores has an interview scheduled as well. Obviously, you don't have to request for those two guys because they are currently unemployed. Uh, Dougie P interviewing on Wednesday. Uh, I've slowly grown to this idea. Um, I like uh, my number one guy and a couple other guys a little bit more, but you got to think that he's pretty high on the list of betting odds, by the way. Catsports.com slash Bears, promo code Bear Down. Have Doug Peterson as the favorite to land the Bears gig. I don't necessarily believe that, but you can go bet on it if you want. I'll have him at number two, won a Super Bowl. Uh, so, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's pretty highly regarded. At number one, Jim Harbaugh. You know, there's a report out there that uh, Harbaugh is negotiating an extension with Michigan. That dropped on Monday. Uh, there's probably some truth to that, and there's probably truth that uh, Harbaugh is using the NFL uh, as a raise for his college job. But why not go all in and just see, you know, interview all these other guys, but really take a swing at Harbaugh. Go to him and say, you're our top guy. Do you want to come here or not? Um, I think he'd bring Vic Fangio as the defensive coordinator. They go back to San Francisco, obviously. Um, that would be an excellent tandem. Then you just hire an OC. It doesn't really matter who it is. Harbaugh would have a lot of weight on the type of offense. And uh, we saw what he did with a guy like Colin Kaepernick, you know, who maximized his abilities in San Francisco. I'd go all in on Harbaugh. Sure, Sean Payton as well, but you got to factor in. You'd probably have to trade for him. If it's me, if I catch wind that Jim Harbaugh would take the job, I'm probably just hiring him. He's been successful everywhere he's been. You get Vic Fangio probably out of it, so uh, let's make it happen. Who is your dream head coach for the Bears? We asked you earlier. We'll ask you again. Let us know down in the comments because uh, this is a huge hire for Chicago.